you know how Epstein didn't kill himself? There's actually theories around that he didn't even die. Some people are saying he was put in the cell, the security cameras were turned off and everything, or broken, or I can't remember what they said that happened, and he was whisked away to another island somewhere. Or he's dead. So they're the, generally the two things that people say a lot. And then people sometimes will point out who was on the flight manifests to go to these islands. And they're the likes of Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, that kind of stuff. You know, the regular people that you always kind of knew would be on those anyway. So either because they're extremely rich or because they are dodgy. And usually both of those two traits coincide with each other. Now, I've never been a billionaire yet, <laughs> but my view on millionaires and billionaires is that you go along to get along. You do have to liaise with different types of people in your industry. Hell, I've even had to do that in the little tiny minuscule lifestyles that I've been a part of. There's so-and-so over there. Oh God, I don't want to talk to her. She is the worst human being, but we are in this industry. You need to sort of be civil with those around you who knows when they can help you out and they're kind of people that know what you're going through at certain stages so maybe sometimes you might look at their career and say oh that's a that's an interesting u-turn they did there I wonder why they did that you could actually get inspiration for some people so I don't really care sometimes when a picture comes out and it's Epstein and somebody usually yeah they're dodgy but sometimes it's just that you get invited to the same stuff sometimes it's that you know the, the granddaughter of the niece is like oh oh uncle can you please get me a picture next to I don't know who's famous now Margot Robbie you know it's things like that and then you know dumbass Margot Robbie's like okay sure I'll do it for you and she stands next to this person and then you know 20 years down the track that person gets done for SA or something and then they go oh but she knew him you know that kind of stuff happens and when you're famous, you meet so many different people and you do so many different deals that don't mean anything. You know, they, you've got these A-list actors and there's probably about 30 different commercials that you've never seen that they've done somewhere in the back rooms of Hollywood. You know, they do so many different things at so many different times, meet so many different people that they can't keep track. So it's both. Sometimes they're all dodgy. Sometimes it's just they happen to be in each other's spheres for that weekend or that night or that soiree at a mutual friend's dinner or something. Side note, my lovelies. Yes, I do know about the sculptures and have for several years before it became mainstream news. I do know about the picture of Bill Clinton in the blue dress with the red shoes. I do know the occult symbolism of that. I do know about Bill Gates and his preference and, you know, his divorce and all the rumors surrounding that. I do know about Ghislaine and Jeffrey being at what looks like Queen Elizabeth's cabin. I know all of that stuff. I'm just sticking to the upper crust today because I kind of want to smash this out. I'm pretty hungry. So the second lot of data that came out about Epstein's flight manifests and lists and friends and everything had you know like a CIA director and some politicians and generally the people that you would expect and it got me thinking about how I guess like I said I've never been a billionaire but I think that if you had that much money at your fingertips you also had that much opportunity and that much opportunity to do things and have experiences I mean I bet anybody that's a young billionaire has been skydiving or maybe they've been to the other side of the earth to climb a mountain or whatever whatever money can buy you the world is your oyster as they say you can do whatever you want and so i don't know about this wayfair thing and all that but the premise let's just go with the premise that you can go to a restaurant and there's an eight dollar burger but there's also a gold plated plate with a another burger that is say a thousand dollars that has truffle oil and um you know what is that yeah what's that stuff they put on it's like a sheet of paper but it's actual gold that you can eat you know th there's different delicacies put it that way there's rich people that have probably eaten things you and i will never get to eat because we don't want to pay five thousand dollars to import it from the other side of the country or the world I'm thinking that a lot of millionaires slash billionaires 
are searching for something that means anything because they can buy whatever they like. They can even buy love. You know, there are thoughts out there that will, you know, sleep with you. Hell, they'll even pretend they like you if you want to pay them. I think that it's not too out of the realms of possibility to have lots of rich people and well-off stars and celebrities and entrepreneurs and whatever that do delve into the uh, CA kind of stuff and the pedo stuff. I don't doubt some people have a taste for it. I also think that some people would have it presented to them and go, oh, why not? I haven't done this before. I'm rich enough. I can arrange this. It's kind of like when people go on the hunting tourism to, to Africa and they go, oh, you know what? Next week, I feel like I want to hunt a rhino and they will set that up and their money talks, their money will pay for them to have that experience. So as much as I hate the comparison, I think that that happens with, um, with children. I am not a massive fan of Elon Musk. Uh, I think anybody that reaches these heights have to, like I said, liaise, do backdoor deals, secret handshakes, you know, meet several people at different functions and everything to get where they are and maintain their position where they are. And so we saw that recently with uh, Elon Musk appointing a WEF shield to the chair of uh, Twitter, being a CEO. That got a lot of backlash. I see a lot of people going, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You were you were a billionaire, but you were our billionaire. You like memes. You like based 4chan, 8chan, whatever. What I've seen that kind of made people go, huh. Some of us prior to that were a bit like, yeah, he's based in some things, but he is a billionaire. He's out to make money. And when you get to those heights, again, like what I was saying, you want the delicacies of life. So like all quote unquote men, just men, humankind, whatever. The notion is that when you get to a certain stage, you want to take over the world. And to me, his delve into Neuralink and what he wants to do with that is him taking over the world, him, him wanting to take over the world. When he bought Twitter, I thought he wasn't buying Twitter. He was buying the framework to set something up. And recently I saw a quote with him talking about X. He wants to make it an app for everything. I don't doubt that you do, sir. <laughs> it's just human nature. And no, I'm not saying he's making an app to order children. <laughs> I'm just saying that your names are going to get linked with nefarious people and things eventually. And I think that's what's happened at the moment. So I saw a small headline saying that he is being subpoenaed by the Virgin Islands in a lawsuit against JP Morgan Chase Bank. So I think the reason they're suing is because they say the bank allegedly enabled and benefited from Epstein's trafficking ring. And the bank obviously denies that. There's also a civil lawsuit pending where a woman has accused Jeffrey Epstein of abusing her and I think JP Morgan CEO has to testify in I think that's one of two trials that are going on at the moment or that are starting this month. So May 4 documents went through and apparently Google co-founder Larry Page is also mentioned in this kind of stuff and I think it's just they're trying to get everybody that could have possibly had anything to do with Jeffrey Epstein to testify or hand over their documentation. I know from Elon Musk, they want documents uh, talking about the girls and consensual sexual acts, but they also want anything that has Jeffrey Epstein or Elon Musk telling each other to join up with the bank and use their services. I think on Monday, Elon Musk did reply to one Twitter user that was talking to him about this whole saga and he was saying it's idiotic on so many different levels and he said he never got advice from Jeffrey Epstein and that he would need to listen to financial advice from someone like that is ridiculous. So yeah, I don't know, for me, like I was saying, it's a small headline, probably means nothing, but it's just worth noticing that they do all know each other in some sort of way. And even though Elon Musk probably didn't, I'm guessing he probably didn't even speak to Jeffrey Epstein, it's just they happened to use the same bank or something. That's what happens. I Again, I don't think you can be a decent person and be a billionaire, but at the same time, you don't have to be a billionaire and be completely evil. It's just that you are surrounded by evil and you have to shake hands with them sometimes. I don't know, I was just thinking about it today. What would you trade? Would you want to be a billionaire if you have to kiss everybody's ass that you hate every single day? You had the whole world watching you for a one mistake? 
Is it worth those billions of dollars so you can go shoot a rhino in Africa? How much anxiety does it give you to go to a gala and meet up with people that you know 20 years down the track could use a photo with you guys together to imply things? Is it worth it? I think it might be. <laughs> Don't want to be one of those people that's asking you to sub and like, but if you feel like commenting or liking, that would help me out. It'll give me the power to do more of these episodes.